Shalom Aleichem, everybody. It's Erev Shabbos, Parshas Vayikra. It's been some time since I've given a video of Dvar Torah. I want to dedicate and point out that uh, the, the motivation for this week's Dvar Torah came from Alex Broom of the University of Michigan. He emailed me just a short while ago and says, Rebbe, it's been some time. I miss you, Dvar Torah. So I want to give Alex a shout out for really pushing me on this. And uh, and B'shus him, we have the video of Dvar Torah this week. So the Torah tells in the beginning of the parasha, Vayikra el Moshe, Vayidaber Hashem elav me'ol el mo'ed le'mon. Rashi points out that here we're going to have in parasha Vayikra, in the entire Seif Vayikra, a lot of detailed halachos, halachos of the karbonos. And you'll notice that each and every parasha will learn about a karbon, the ola, and the shlomim, and the chatas. And there's going to be a break in the action. You're going to have in the chumish, the samach, 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 the pei, 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 a hefsek. And Rashi in his first passage points out what was the purpose of these hefsekos? Was, was, is this just how the Torah is written or was Hashem really taking a break from delivering information to Moshe to then deliver to B'nai Yisrael? What was the purpose of these hefsekos? And Rashi points out an interesting comment. Rashi says that what was the purpose of these hefsekos? Ma hoya hefsekos misham shemos. And he says, litain revach l'moshe l'hizbonein Bain parasha la parasha u bain inyon la inyon. It was to give Moshe a chance to reflect, to think about what he had learned. Mo, Hashem gave over all of this information, all of this Torah, the Torah Shabbat Sav and the Torah Shabbat Peh, and these inyonim over to Moshe. And it was not supposed to be that Moshe then just delivers it right away to Bnei Yisrael. The Hefseikos are there to give Moshe Rabbeinu time to think, reflect, inculcate into his personality that which he was learning in these parshios, and says Rashi, Kal v'chomer. if that's true when it comes to Hashem as the teacher, that the student, even learning from Hashem, needs time to absorb, to consider, how does this affect me and my life? So, Kal v'chomer lehedyot halomid min hedyot. So certainly that's the case when a hedyot, when a regular person learns from a regular person, Basavidam learns from Basavidam. Also, you need time to stop and reflect and think about what you've learned and thereby absorb it into your personality. No coincidence that Parshas Vayikra in the yeshiva world always falls out around Rosh Chodesh Nisan, always fa- falls out when we go to a Bein Hazmanim, when we go to a vacation type of period. It's not a coincidence either that on the college campuses you have also something called spring break also around this time. So again, there's different ways you can go ahead and think about a Bein Hazmanim, think about a spring break, a vacation from your normal day-to-day existence. But I would suggest to you, no coincidence, that Rashi is telling us a very, very crucial method, message. And that is that when you have these breaks in the action, when you have perhaps weekends, when you have vacation periods, from a period of learning, from a period of growth, from a period of development, so those have a very specific purpose. Those have a very specific need. The Hefseikos are Mishamesh. They do something for you. What do they do? You're supposed to stop. Sometimes we get so busy with our day-to-day existence, with our day-to-day routine, even those who are learning full-time. We get so busy in the sugya and in the process of what we're involved in that we don't always reflect and think about what are we supposed to take from this? How is this supposed to improve us? How is this supposed to be absorbed into our personality to make us better people? And that's something the breaks in the action that have seikos, the Bein Azman, can really go ahead and accomplish. We think about what we just went through, the period of time that we just went through, what we grew from, what we did not grow from, what we can do worse, what can we... What we can do better, and perhaps what we can change, what we can fix, and to use these breaks in the action, to use the Chagim, to use these special times, to go ahead and learn and develop ourselves with, again, a very fundamental idea, the beginning of Parashat Vayikra, and again, no coincidence, always falls out during this time of Ben Azmanim, during this time of vacation, where a person can really use the Chagim and use these breaks to really go ahead and learn something about himself and absorb and really pick up what he can, uh, how he can improve himself and stop, stop and think how he can go ahead and pick himself up. One last idea I wanted just to share on the Haggadah. I heard this from Rav Daniel Katz, one of the Rabbeim in the Yeshiva. I thought it was a very, very beautiful idea. The, uh, in the Haggadah, we're told, uh, towards the beginning, Baruch HaMakam Baruch Hu, Baruch Shinasan Torah La'amo Yisrael, a Birchas HaTorah, where we thank Hashem for giving us the Torah, Baruch HaMakam, and Baruch Shinasan Torah La'amo Yisrael. We thank Hashem for Gabbalah Satora. And right after that, we move into it's the transition into the Arba Bonin. What's the connection between Baruch, Shenosan, Torah, Amo Yisrael, and the Arba Bonin? What exactly is the connection? 
So the idea is as follows, is that when we think about Torah, it's so fascinating, but Torah is so deep and it's so profound, and you can learn it on so many different levels. It can be learned on a pshat level, on a drash level, there's Kabbalistic ideas, there's Hasidus, there's Lomdus, there's Bekiyas. You can learn Shivim Konim La Torah. And a person can connect to Torah on any different level. And I can go ahead and learn one Pasuk with a three-year-old child. And he'll get what he wants out of it. And a God will be Yisrael can learn the same exact Pasuk, the same exact text, and get what he gets out of it. Masha'en Ken, this is the only book in the world that's like this. When you go ahead and study physics, Physics 1, you look at the Physics 1 volume. So if you go ahead and master Physics 1, you study it and you master it, you read it from cover to cover, so you learned it and you're done with it. You've accomplished that and now you move on to Physics 2 and then to Physics 3. Not so when it comes to Torah. When it comes to Torah, you make a siyum and masechet and you say hajin alach and you know that when you learn it the next time, you can learn it deeper. You can now learn it with Rashi and Tulsas. Next time you learn it with the Ritva. Next time you learn it with the Rambam, the Rush, the Rif. And you can go ahead analytically, be iyun, and cover it on a totally different level. And every time you see a Pasuk in Chumash, you see a Daf Gemara, you see anything in Torah, it can be plunged to the depths. And that's the connection. Baruch Shinosan Torah La Amo Yisrael. Torah, what a unique and special gift. Because the Amy Yodel Lisho can learn Torah, the Tam can learn Torah, the Russia and the Chacham. They can have that same Chetzah Shel Torah, but they can study on different levels. They can all appreciate and get out of it what they want to get out of it. That's the uniqueness of Torah. That's the multifaceted nature of Torah, the depth of Torah. And perhaps that's this idea, the linkage between Baruch HaMakom, Baruch Shemosan Torah Am Yisrael, and the Kneged Arba Bonim, Dibra Torah, because every member of Klal Yisrael, no matter who he is, no matter who she is, can tap in to Torah on his or her level. It's a, there's a level for everyone, for Gdol Yisrael and for Tinokos Shal Beis Rabban. And it's our mission to find our place in Torah, to have learn Torah, and then during those breaks also see how we can absorb Torah into our personality, improve ourselves, better ourselves, and thus be zolche in this Chodesh Nisan, the, the Chodesh of Geula, we should be zolche to the gula, the true gula of the bias, gola of tzedek and hey, rovi, amen.